All right, welcome everyone. We got another amazing guest today. It is a friend of mine. I actually know his father originally. I've got put in touch with Carlo, Carlo Mucci, who is an absolute legend, singer, crusher. Carlo, how are you? <laughs> I'm very fine, Jeff, and how are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I know we've been talking for a while, looking to line it up. I know you're a busy man, and, and uh, I do appreciate the time. So let's dive right into it. You it's are a, a you're, you're a musician. You're an artist. Yes. When did this start? Because yes. and, and tell maybe give a little background on yourself. Those that aren't potentially familiar, you're in Mexico. Uh, you're a singer. You do you do music, but give us a little background on who you are and when you got into music. Actually, it's a kind of fun, you know, because I absolutely sing and love to sing since I have memory of life. I always loved art, every single part of art. Absolutely, music for me it's uh, my soul. It's uh, the one who touch. Uh, my very deep inside soul. Uh, I didn't start since I was a kid. I didn't want it. I was a hard working man. And at that time, I always was a kid man, a uh, young uh, worker man, and, uh, and, and a man worker, no? So I left business, uh, what I mean business, everything is a business, you know, but when I mean business, I mean, uh, uh, construction, uh, a gambling business, all stuff like that uh, since three years ago. Okay. So it all start with a bet. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I, 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 was, I, was, I was with a, a very good friend of mine that he's a very, very important figure in Mexico who's called Oscar del Toro, who was married with one of with the most biggest producer uh, woman in Mexico City of uh, telenovelas. Okay. So he was working with me on a on a on my company, and he was like my my consigliere, you know. And uh, I was in a deep down uh, time at that moment. You know, I was a little bit depressed. I was uh, finding myself. I was trying to watch out and understand what about life is. So he was watching me and he always was like, I know you're very good for business, but you're so sentimental. And you are taking your, 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 your feelings uh, down because in business, that's what you need to do usually. So uh, we make a bet. So I started, I'll bet you, in anything I'm gonna I'm gonna enter or I'm gonna test, I'm gonna be the best. <laughs> so he said, let's make a bet. So we'll bet one dollar. Okay. If I was gonna break it or no. And at the point, well, I'm so happy. You know, it's the best invested dollar or gambler dollar that I have been uh, put it on a very big part of a gamble because I was gambling my life, I was gambling my future. I was trying to, 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 to make people see that anything could be possible with a lot of discipline, with a lot of constance, dedication, to put your mind, your soul, your passion inside of the hard work of every day. And then you will have success in anything you do. That's my point of view. I never surrender because this is a, a, a year's career, like the business, like a, a medicine, like anything, like any career in the world. You know, th you need years to have success and you need to wait. And then when you have success, it's much more difficult to maintain the success than what you think it was coming up through to get yeah. it. It's interesting you say you made a bet. So when you say you made a bet, it was on being successful what, in, in, in within the, the being a singer, Absolutely. Being a musician, Absolutely. or what was that was not the, be, and you just not, said you couldn't do it? Not to be successful, to be the number one. Wow. <laughs> one dollar for the, number one. I like it. That's a, that's I, a. And, I, and I was starting, I was, I'm 25 years old and I was starting this at 22 years three years ago and there's not, you know, I'm starting a, a little bit old in the career. I'm, I'm not usually the pop stars, the big pop stars of the moment uh, in the United States, in Latin America, they've been 
for 15 years career they started 10 years 15 years when they were that old you know so uh, uh, my point was a bet the bet to 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 put on myself my capacity it's the competition it's only against me nobody else you know i'm i'm i, I i'm i'm not trying to say the number one and 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 to be everybody the second no 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 what i mean is to be the number one with myself to push myself to be the number one absolutely yeah, it's, I mean, that's a great point. I think that's one of, you know, I, I've, I've mentioned this before, but I lived with Michael Phelps. The swimmer was my roommate wow. uh, for seven years, wow. but that was wow. the biggest thing from 2008 till 2015. And that was one thing I really took away from what he would talk about because he doesn't, he sets goals for himself. If someone's able to beat that goal, like he doesn't look at what everyone else is doing. He has his goals he, does, he believes what to win. And I think that's super important. You could apply that to anything in life. But, you know, if you have yourself, whatever, downloads on Spotify or time you spend per year on your craft, like these are things you can control. You can't control that another superstar comes out of Mexico or somewhere else or Absolutely. whatever. You have to do your best. And and, and also there is exactly. room for others at the top, you know, to, to be successful. Absolutely. It's not, it's not and, one. And, it's be- and you know what? It's beautiful because the sun comes out for everyone, for everyone. Yep. You know, that's the, the the most important thing here in life. It's know as human beings to know the truly knowledge of humanity, of uh, compassion, of uh, not to put your ego and to put your very uh, selfish way a little bit aside to think that we are 7 billion people. And I don't know, in my point of view, in my uh, intention of life, I always wake up with the intention of changing the world, you know, and it's absolutely uh, uh, impossible to, to, to make it happen, but not with my, not the ones that I'm going to be surrounded by. Maybe right. I don't reach 7, bil- 7 billion people, but maybe I reach 30,000 or one. And in that case, I'm going to be the best and I'm going to try to do, do to do my best. Yeah, that's that's I mean, it's well said. I think that's that's also important, you know, to to be a net positive. You know, you can't necessarily reach every person in the world. If you do your best, if you put out, you know, help others like I mean, it's great that so Absolutely. many people hear your music, hear your message and you get to share your gift with so many. When did you realize that music, though, was your actual passion? You said only a few years ago you started, that, but like you must have been. Singing no, for- no, that was from the very beginning when okay. since I has memory, because really I was. I was a super, super, super dotted talent with my voice. I could reach all the skill in, in notes, but I never do as a pro. When you do something, you do something as a hobby or you so- do something as a profession. Yeah. I was doing it as a hobby, you know? I was, I was a, a, when I was little, and in the karaoke bars, I used to sing uh, one, two songs, get crazy, and send me bottles, and then some managers uh, go, and I, and I was 13 years old, 14 years old, and they come and I want, we want to sign you, come on, oh, this is for idiots, you know, this is not, this doesn't make money. That was my answer. <laughs> so right. that's what I say, you never, you never need to spit out, uh, because it, could go back under your face. Yeah, that's absolutely. And so <laughs> you, you, but when did you know you wanted to do it? When were you like, I want to be, uh, I think that I'm going to really go for it. With a bet, with a bet, because with a bet, it was a God bet. It was a God moment. It was a universe. It was the stars. It was really a conspiracy because the story inside, it's beautiful. My really best song, cover song, that I was singing since I was little, that it's called from here, a big, big idol who's called Manuel Mijares. And his best song, his most famous song was, it's called El Privilegio de Amar, The Privilege to Love. So I was always singing that, that song and it was my very favorite song. And when I was in the car with uh, Mr. Oscar making that bet, 
he introduced me. He started me. He started me with a career. You know, he started helping me with a career because I didn't yeah. know anything about uh, the, the the industry. So he put me with Carla, which is his his, his ex wife, and Carla put me with one of the most biggest composers in Mexico City, which is called Jorge Vendaño, Master Jorge Vendaño, that he has made very, very uh, big hits on telenovelas, on radio, for many, for many, for many big, big singers in Mexico. So he put me with a kid, he said, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna be in, in singing classes, singing lessons for uh, long enough. And when you're ready, we're, we're gonna record. And we started uh, recording, but three months, I, then I have a beautiful relation with Master Jorge. And then I realized, that Jorge was the composer of the song El Privilegio de Amar. Wow. And that Carla was the producer of the novela, of wow. the la telenovela. So this is a coincidence? Come on, in what odds? How many composers, big composers they are? How many producers they are? You know, so the, that my, it was the song that I used to sing in my cousin's wedding, weddings, uh, you know, so it was so special. So that was very, very, very uh, clear for me that God was sending me this opportunity to me to be, first of all, happy, to me to be, first of all, uh, dedicating myself with passion, my life, because life without passion, it's difficult. You know, I embrace and I respect very, very much the people that they work in something they don't like to, but they put bring the passion because they nobody no not everybody has the chance to or the opportunity to 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 make what they love to make, but they have a necessity to bring uh, food to their families, you know. So that's a very very I embrace it a lot, and I'm proud of that that kind of people because I used to do that. And I couldn't, really, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't when I, I was successful. I was very successful. I have many success, but I, I didn't, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel that it was the thing that money doesn't buy happiness. Absolutely. Right. You can only figure it out when you have money. If you don't have money, it's, it's better to figure it out than that you have money. And after to say that it, it doesn't make you happy, you know? Figure it out later. When you yeah. have money, you figure it out that money doesn't give you happiness. For so sure. uh, I started uh, in my lessons, my singing lessons. And then I see there my voice capacity. That it was really huge, my voice, my voice capacity. And that it was, you know, one, one per 100 million. Because... Wow. That's by a fact in, in the, in the, in the notes high right. that I can go. And let me, let me interrupt you. Let me ask you a question. Cause again, yes, I'm not yes. as familiar with music yeah, and how it all works, absolutely. right? It's like poker or sports. It's all different. And, and it's so interesting how it really kind of moves forward. So how much of it is natural and how much of it is, is God given talent? Because like, you know, if I wanted to start singing today, I'm 35. Uh, I, I don't particularly, I don't think I have a good voice. Like, based on singing just from like little, you know, messing around or singing in the shower. But is that how much could someone actually work? If you, is it like you have as worn a, the vocal cords or could you go as, and as, dream? As, as your dream is big as. Okay. Because your dream, it's going to make you, if you're 35 years old and you want to have that great voice, the work, it's the most important thing in this career, the discipline, the constant thing, the dedication. And then it comes the talent. If you combine all them, you're gonna have much more possibilities to have chance. But I also embrace and respect a lot the ones that they don't have that kind of talent, that kind of voice facilities. And they are now in the top because they are hard worker women and hard worker men, and that's why they are stars. 
not right. meaning the stars, but they're like they are different to everybody because I think any single human being and soul they are a star. They have a star inside, but the really good proof and the who what, who makes you tough, it's to make that star shine as maximum as possible. That so that's really interesting to say that because I actually you know I think sort of the same like people you see that are famous you know movie stars actors athletes singers songwriters directors like a lot of these people are just so talented and but they're so driven it's like they're smart they're sharp they figure out how to make things work and they put in the work because I think a lot of those people would be successful at anything they do really and obviously some are gifted athletically. Some are gifted otherwise, but they take those talents and they push it. And there's also a lot of luck, but there's a lot of hard work, determination. And you know, I think that that is um, overlooked because I don't. It's most of it's not just given to you, right? Like you really have to do the work and have the right sort of skill sets. To, and, to and, and 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 there's a and there's a key word inside in here that it's called luck. Yeah. You need the luck. You need the luck. My dad used to tell me so something amazing when I was a young man or when I was a kid. There's one corner in life. One of the street, it's discipline, hard work, constant. Uh, put yourself 100% in, in hard work. And the other one, it's the luck. So you always, always need to be making the hard work line going on because you never know when the luck is coming and maybe yeah. you start later to hard work but the line of luck was already passed the train was already passed so my dad says when you are making this happen and the corner mixed with luck corner boom you go up that's uh that's very well said and thought i like that how that visual from Pablo, very smart guy, obviously your father, very well said. I, you know, that, that reminds me of one of my favorite quotes, which is luck is when preparation meets opportunity, right? I think that's Absolutely. the road. Pre be prepared, that's, that's opportunity, and, and you just don't know when it's going to intersect, but that's, um, that's, that's for sure. Very cool. Can you tell me what are some of the biggest lessons and learnings from, from, uh, from your father that you got and, and also with family, you have brothers, right? One brother, no, how many, yeah, you have, you have two, bro two, two brothers. Two brothers. Right. One, one, one older, one younger. Uh, I can tell you about my dad that he's the smartest guy I've ever met. He's a, a, a very, very tough dad. He's not an easy dad. He's a tough dad. He, he push us a lot. He, uh, he's not a, he's not that uh, uh, light, you know? Mm -hmm. He pushes us to hard work. He has very strong limits. Uh, he pushes us to make our own shit. Even if he has been very successful in his life, uh, he pushes us to do our own. Uh, the biggest lesson that I've seen with my dad is that I have seen him treat with the same treat to the president than to the waiter. Both of them, he can, both of, in both side, in both cases, I have here to say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't mean, <laughs> I don't mean that it is a, a, like a respectful, no, yes, he is a very respectful man with everybody, but what I'm meaning is sometimes we messed up, you know, or we, 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 we anger uh, ourselves a little bit and we say words and we say things, but my dad doesn't uh, get quiet because one is the president and he cannot tell the president to go fuck himself and yes to the waiter because the waiter doesn't have any single kind of power. You understand right. me? Yeah, he is a guy that treats exactly the same way to everybody. Right. And he's a very big heart, heart, heart. That my mom, what can I tell you? She's uh, a woman that has been uh, taking his home very, very, very sweetly with, with a, a lot of values. Uh, she's a very civic and ethical woman. 
she is not uh, uh, she she's priority in life it's values it's not money it's not uh, you know it's we as a men are a little bit different you know we're a little bit more ambitious we're we're a little bit more uh, crazy but she has a she hasn't it 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 wasn't easy for her we are uh, four boys at home including my dad <laughs> It's not for boys, it's for monsters. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it has been a tough life for her, but she has made a great job as a mom, as a woman, as a wife. I'm proud of her. And with my brothers, what can I tell you, Jeff? They are absolutely my entire life. You know, they are my best friends. They are my partners. They are my support. They are any, in any a, a kind of situation, uh, the first I'll think of, it's not even my parents. It's with my brothers. Absolutely. Right. And that for me, it's very, very important, no? And also, it was very important that it, at the time uh, that I decided to, to, to be a, a singer that was not many years ago, they give me all the support, you know? And sometimes we find a very difficult trouble with families as individuals, with families, because not always family support the passion and the dream of one of the member of the family, no? And it's painful and it's uh, heartbroken. And I am glad and I'm happy to tell you that in my case, I have a big heart because I have all the support and trust and faith of my family and uh, if I has come in, in that place and I, if I has grow here in Mexico as a level I have grow in, in Latin America, absolutely in a huge part it's because of them and all my team. Makes, makes, yeah, so that's beautiful. It's a lot of sense. I mean, family is so important. It's great, you know, because that's not, everyone doesn't have that, that luxury where they have a great relationship with their 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 brothers or sisters or, or parents. So you know that's really that that's great. That is that's great to hear. And you know, I'm sure that is um like you said, there's times you go up and down, emotions, trials, tribulations. It's nice to have blood, family that uh that has your back and is supportive. So that's great. What has been what has been this this whole so it's kind of like three years ago you start roughly and then the pandemic happens. How has that been? Did that was that did that maybe help you focus more or was that like disappointing because you might have done some touring? No, 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 no. I, I cannot be disappointed of a tragedy, of a human tragedy. Right. You know, it would be so selfish for myself. So for selfish. Sure. I'm sorry. Uh, it was a thing that the, it happens to everyone. I yeah. didn't stop working. I was working very hard at that point of two years. I was uh, making all that videos that I made. I was pre I was realizing all uh, releasing the the songs in the in the in the in the Spotify in the in the internet, you know, in the in the media. So yeah. I didn't stop. It was for sure. It it stopped me a little in a part of shows, but that's obviously logical. But it gives me, I try always, my dear Jeff, to see the positive thing to a tragedy. Because not, if not, you're going to fall down in a black hole without ending. Go and find the positive thing. The positive thing is that I need to do everything that I can do with my best, with the possibilities I have. You know, it was very hard to work with the videos because at that very uh, uh, initial part, the pandemic was a chaos. You know, everybody uh, uh, in their homes uh, uh, read a uh, read, uh, light. Nobody can go out. Everyone, everything was closed. And we took the risks. And the most important thing that why we took the risk because to uh, uh, make a video like that, we need at least 50, 60 people, you know? And it was exactly at the huge time of the pandemic. And that was made because people need music. If we have 
a very important lesson in the pandemic it's that music it's one of the most biggest uh, uh, heroes in the world imagine the pandemic without music dear how many suicides it could go up in percentage yeah would be crazy yeah, believe me well so, I, yeah mu music's an amazing thing it really is it, it does it serves a lot of purposes for sure that's absolutely. no question absolutely and and then you're in your home you cannot do nothing you cannot go out you cannot do and i think music is it's our biggest partner of humanity because this because we always if we're making a sport where you, we're actually listening music mostly all the time of, of the day you know if you're in a restaurant if you're in a bar if you're in your work if you're where you where we are listening music so we make this because of the public we make this because of the fans we make this because they need the, uh, to hear this lovely and, and romance and it i think it was a very very appropriate time to 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 make this album that it's a love album that it's uh, a, a very romantic uh, album because it was a difficult time and when it comes from difficult times in humanity all what save us is love and all what we have as a strength is love it's i mean it's it's exactly right it's very well said i, I want to understand as a singer and piano player you play the piano as well is that that's your that's your main your main more singer but you do piano as well or would you consider I, yourself a I, I, no absolutely no no i am a top i am a master in the voice a master i don't I, I have no 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 more levels going up right and the piano no i'm a very 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 first beginner okay very that's... very first beginner okay so we're, we're I'm, right I'm, it's a singer I'm with the now i'm piano coming out less building it you're becoming you're you're learning the craft as well but uh what kind That's of training point. do you undertake to stay in top form you know athletes we have a good idea like what study how do you like give me a give me a typical thing to train are you doing voice lessons per day are you doing what kind of things do you do to to, to enhance your, Voc your craft vocalization you know vocalization for the voice after i've already made two hours of exercise how i exercise myself i swim or i run I make one hour of cardio and I make one hour of, uh, of weight. Okay. So it's not so, you know, it's, it's not the, uh, I'm not a sport. I'm, I'm another kind of a sport. I'm a, I'm a, a sport gambler, but not a sport player. <laughs> but, what's your, what's but, your favorite? What do you, what's your favorite? Um, what do you like to watch or, or to, to, oof, to wager? Oof, NFL. I love that's, that's my big big that yeah you know it's six months of depression and six months of glory that's how I describe the sun is it, is it that popular in Mexico is it getting more popular <laughs> oh oof, oof, oof. now it's huge huge yeah. huge it's so popular you know I think it's I think it, uh, it's uh, maybe UK Mexico and Canada the most biggest fans of the NFL uh, outside the United States right I love yeah. baseball love baseball you know but if i don't gamble i don't watch any sports <laughs> i gotta say it, it makes i knew all the sports is so big betting and stuff but it's it's now a daily fantasy in the u.s DraftKings, all these different things yeah it's just like you get it people it doesn't matter like you said a, a dollar bet with your buddy for like your career or something if you bet something whether it's small or big it makes you sort of invested and feel you know that there's something happening so it makes perfect sense i mean most people <laughs> like to wager something on on games but uh um, it is yeah look, look look what i'm gonna show you here look what i'm gonna show you here okay okay that's, yeah you got that's my that's my sport book that's my sport book in front of my office i love it i got the four <laughs> four 38 inches as well and then two tvs and the monitors i'm i i like to watch multiple things at once it's not one thing it's it's definitely you know, we, that's like you said, as men, we're different. We're built different. We like action. We like to be yes. stimulated at all times. So yeah, I, so I, uh, we've been in, we've, we've been need to be in rush. It's, the, it's rush exactly, the rush make us feel alive. No, Matt, I want to ask you about um, songs on YouTube. They're in Spanish. It appears most of the commentary about you as well. Do yeah. you sing in English or any other languages or does your uh, language 
is it is it primarily in I Spanish? could amuse you I could amuse you with my English singing. It's amazing. It's very nice, but I happen I that's a that's a, a very important uh, step that I will take when it's the right moment. My absolutely my target is to go and co uh, conquest uh, uh, the parts of the world that I have the chance. I for sure I want to start here in Mexico in my country. I want that in Spanish, my language, it's going to come all over. Absolutely. Latin America and some parts of Europe, the United States for me, it's the biggest step. And uh, I don't want to waste an idea. You know, I don't want to shut it down because the rush or the press or to bring now I have many songs in English in my phone as recorded, uh, but I don't realize I don't, I don't put it on release because it's not the moment, but very soon what I'm going to make it in my, in my, when I start now in one month, my, my tour in, I usually in all my concerts sing in English, you know, please bless, bless in English, in Italian and then Spanish. And I'm trying now to, 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 to sing in French. I would love to, to, to sing in many languages possible. So, uh, yes, I do sing in English. I love uh, uh, English language. Even, you know what? I like it a little bit more than Spanish or than uh, uh, any Romance language, you know? Because I think it's a little bit more stronger. It's a little bit more uh, easy. It's a little bit more uh, you can it's it's not the, it's not the same as you as you can say much more bad words without making uh, feel that bad you know in Spanish it's a little bit different we have the the big words uh, they are offensive and he, the big words in the in the English uh, language it's like uh, fuck 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 yeah yeah that fuck you know. Right. That's what I like. I like, I, I really like the language. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, uh, well, no, I mean, it sounds like, you know, you're, you're uh, expanding and, and growing quickly and, you know, you've had a lot of success and a lot of downloads, a lot of following. What is, um, do you have some goals in terms of songs to release? You know, you said to be number one, like what, what are some, what are some things you do to the realistically when you start a now, year, what kind of targets? Now, now I have a, a huge, a huge, uh, 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 notice for my fans, for the public, for your uh, all your audience that it's gonna watch us. That I absolutely am thankful them for for for, for being a, and giving their time to to watch a, a small but a beautiful conversation. I, I'm now. I was very lucky last year. Very lucky. Why? Because I recorded with the best uh, Cuban compositor on the last hundred years uh, that it's called December Bueno. He makes Bailando with Enrique Iglesias. He makes Subeme La Radio with him. He makes the song of Subeme La Radio. He now this year, 2021, he win the best song, uh, the Latin Grammy of the best song of the year and the best Yerba, and the best urban song. So I have 10 now, I have 10 uh, big, big, big uh, songs with him. He was uh, shocked by the result. She he was shocked by, by the interpretation. We, we, we usually, I, when, I, when I'm gonna sing, it's so important that I'm feeling what I'm singing and it's so important to identify myself with the song so I can make it mine. And right. uh, 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 the people can, believe what I'm saying. So it's a very, very beautiful process, you know, because I need to, I, I, I was telling you at the very first that I am a, a very hard uh, guy to express his feelings. I am a very good talker. I'm a very good uh, in oratory, but I'm a very bad uh, to, to, to tell you what I'm feeling. So music made me that and with the composers, I need to cry with them with my love stories. Absolutely. I am a, a passionate love. I think that the most beautiful thing we have in life, it's couple, it's uh, uh, making love. I think that's the, 
the juicy part of, or one of the most juicy part of life. Uh, so I, I'm a hard broker and I have been broke and, and some, they have been broken my heart many times, you know? So it's, it's, it's by the both sides. And what I am singing, it's what I'm saying to somebody, no? To somebody that it was special for. Makes, makes, makes a lot of sense. And that's gotta be, I mean, where that, that was my next question. Where do you find the motivation, like in, in terms of writing music and songs? Is that, is that a difficult part to find what you want to sing about? Because it is, is not, it is, it, it, it is, it is not, it is not because it comes, it comes out from, from look, my uh, uh, work or my strategy, it's a little bit different than the usual people or the usual uh, 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 artist, musician. Because they all are in a studio producing and making proofs. And I search for the best composers. And then I make with them the music. And I uh, make some uh, words in the song. I put some taste. I put the feeling I'm say, okay, I want to make a song about somebody that cheated on me or I'm breaking now with my love. And, uh, I want to tell that I will always be for, I will stay with that. I want to be happy that I want uh, to, to, to have a beautiful life. That's what, that's my wishes, you know? Makes and that's makes. how I make the songs or we make the songs. And then the process of, because it's so diff, it's different. The letter, it's different. The melody, it's different. The arrangement and the production of the album, you know, and then you need to master it. And it's a whole entire artistic process that it's so easy. I've been, uh, I've been in, in, in the other side, you know, as a, as a, as a fan, as a, as to watching my idols. And then you go out to the show and you go, you pay the ticket, you go with your friends, with your family and you see the show and you say, wow, it's amazing. Uh, simple. They go out, they have a great voice. They go right. out, they sing and they, then it's go, it's finished the, the show. You applaud. You go dinner, you have puppy, and you you don't see how difficult it is. You saw it as a, as as the public, very simple. It's much 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 more difficult and complicated than anybody could think. Anybody, yeah. definition, starting you cannot under the past the 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 rhythm, uh, the planeation of the show exactly. You know because. It's so important. Frank Sinatra used to, to say that it was so important to, to be focused on the stage. Because if you just focus yourself, even for five minutes, you're going to throw all the show down. Because all the show is planned. It's planned with emotions, with feelings, to make feel the people that they are seeing you. Hold on. Who's that beautiful oh. voice? Who's that? Hi. Hey, you beautiful young man. Hi. How are you? You said you, you haven't. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. 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 Good. good. Are you Are you good at school? Yellow. Yellow. What's your first no, Are Bravo. you a good singer? Are you a good singer? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, once, bro. You, you, once gonna, you, you gotta, gotta be, go, buddy. You, you're gonna be a star. You're gonna be a star. Hey, work hard for it. <laughs> He loves soccer. That's his favorite. His no, basketball. Bravo. Oh, basketball? Okay. Bravo. Golf? Wow. Okay. Basketball. So, 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 so you're, you're a, so you're a talent, a talented young, young man. And poker. And poker. Hey. Good job, buddy. Bravo. You okay. Will, and then, then you have a lot of advantage in your life. He's he's that right. Is really yellow. He's really yellow. He he loves Roma. That's his favorite team. They got a big game to art, right, buddy. I'm gonna hold Carlo. One sec. Please, my pleasure. 
Sorry about that. He, uh, no, please. It was a God bless him. God, God <laughs> gives him an open road, an open uh, 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 way to, to, to walk over with peace, with love, with compassion, and with all the blessed that makes I, life beautiful. I appreciate it. It's definitely, it's, it's, it is a blessing having, having children. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah. He's a, He's a handful. It's amazing, though. It's fun. Everybody I watch is... you. I watch you. I watch you. I watch you on social media, and I see that you're so happy, and it's a pleasure. <laughs> how how wouldn't? I appreciate it very much. I, I want to ask you about some of your models, your role models, and in, in the and who do you look up to within the the space? I mean, obviously, you mentioned your father is a hero, kind of like teaching you and instilling things. Your parents, but what about within the the music world? Is there some people you really look up to, or that you, know, you admire? It doesn't. It doesn't mean it. And I, I don't express, look, look the key that I'm going to tell you. I am a very, very double sense uh, artist on the videos. I am an interpreter. That doesn't mean what in my video I am showing. That's my life. So it is different. I in the, in the video, I'm a playing in like a movie because I don't make the script. I don't make the, the, the story or the viewer story. So I have a director and the director is going to tell me, okay, I need you in the part that I'm acting in the ones that I am singing. Nobody can mess with me. Like in right. my performance, no, I move like I want it, but in the, in the part that I am uh, acting, it's all acting, you know, it's all that part. It doesn't mean that it's my life. It's, it's not necessary what I represent or what I am in my personal life. It's this too. This is for the people. This is for the fans. This is for the, the, the entire humanity that could watch the video. It's not for me. You know, I even don't watch them and I watch them. I think once and that's it, you know, I'm, I don't, I don't usually see myself a lot in in social media i don't right. like it it's i don't like it it's weird not i don't like it to see how will you look now I, I don't like it because then if not you come obsessed with yourself and it's not good to come obsessed with yourself it's good to have a simple and happy life also. for sure I, I actually have a question from my my father asking yeah. some of his notes he, he said how would you describe your career in mexico are you a national heartthrob your videos include beautiful, sexy women and are quite sensual. Is that typical in Mexico or is this your particular niche? So this is my dad doing a little research mm -hmm. watching the videos. It's a very, it's a very good question. And I, first of all, I describe, describe my career. Yes. As a, as a, as a love representative, you know, of the music. Absolutely. Uh, you, you, uh, finish to, to clap a mountain and the finish of the mountain is the beginning of the other one, you know? So that's always in the, that's always a, about the career and the growing of the career. Yes, it is usually absolutely in the entire world to see aesthetic, to see beautiful girls, to see beautiful, beautiful men, to see beautiful everything, to see beautiful places, to, be, to see beautiful homes, beautiful planes, beautiful yachts, beautiful blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, that's a part of it. That's a part that we all as a human being like, we all are inspired a little by that. And uh, yes, I think it is really, really common, but uh, I think in, in, in Mexico as in every single part of the world, you know, like you guys, uh, the United States for me is the most uh, top, uh, they know how to do uh, the shows. They know how to do the, 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 they are the top in that, you know? They are the top in the industry. And what they search, always a beautiful girl. It's always a beautiful man. It's always, uh, that's, uh, that's all about Hollywood and talent, you know? So yes, it is a typical thing. It is usual. I am not a very big uh, a, a fan of that thinking because I think a uh, beauty comes from inside and not outside. That's what I'm telling. I'm, I'm most, I, 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 I'm, I'm starting, you know, so 
I am an employee of my own uh, career. And sometimes I need to follow and to rule the, 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 the order or the script they're giving to me. That doesn't mean I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not that type of guy that needs to see the video with the best and the best. No, I'm more, because I already know that the best of the best of the best as inspiration, when you have it, you don't give a crap about it. Right. So for me, it's important more to show the love. That's what I'm going to do now in my, in my, in my new project, but that's something I don't rule. That's something I don't, I don't make the decision because I don't pay for it. You know, I have a financial uh, 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 account that finance my, my career, not a, not a personal account. What I mean, investors, when I mean uh, 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 management, when I mean discography. Right. So they're going to say, Hey, okay. Now you make, you make the songs, you like the songs, the, the video. Okay. I want it like this. And I put my idea, but not, I don't rule it by myself. You know, the only thing I rule it's music. Makes, makes, makes perfect sense. And actually I want to ask you as well about your team, you know, manager, social media, uh, agent, how do you know, could you maybe just tell me a little bit about what goes into all the stuff you do? Like kind of who works, what, how many people are, are working with your, to, for you Absol to build your, your absolutely. Your... Uh, absolutely. Look, I started, I started alone, absolutely alone. Uh, I make uh, three presentations in a very famous place here in Mexico, in a, in, in El Auditorio Nacional. Uh, it was a very successful shows. Then I'll, then uh, management, many, many people starting offer me to, to sign with them. I didn't sign with nobody. I don't want to sign with nobody because Signs and contracts are a pain in the ass, you know, when, because I think I prefer my liberty. I prefer to do my, my, my own stuff and maybe it's going to be a little bit longer, but it's going to be a little bit happier. I right. prefer it. I prefer it that way. So, and then I'll make uh, we're directly 16, 15. And under Egli, they were may maybe 50. Right. So yes. that's the that's the team that's the team that uh, we are working with it now. I'm telling you that I have seen something as an as a businessman. I'm gonna tell you this. I have seen that you don't need that much people to make huge things. I have seen that when you have a very big group, it could be. Uh, 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 a two-point uh, uh, controver controversial uh, thing is one positive that you have many people working one that nobody uh, has the same opinion you know so different opinion different that it's difficult it's much more difficult to organize to, to organize so what i made now this year i start over and i stay with the best because I don't like people that work for obligation. Work, it's an obligation for everybody in life because the ones, the people that don't work, for me, the only thing that dignifies in life, human being, is work. Dignity work, straight work, not, not, not danger, not, 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 not a bad work, you, you know? So, uh, uh, not everybody has the disposition and, and has the, 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 uh, how you say ganas, the motivation to work. Mm. And I don't like that. So I, 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 I cut many people in my, in my team that they were mostly because of the payment. And that's what I hate. Because that's I'm living a dream, and I am not. I, I I I am living for a dream, and I need dreamers with me. I need people who are gonna be with me, even if I was broke. Right. Yeah. No. You know? It's not. It's 
it's hard. It's hard to find good people. It's Absolutely. hard to align people with your vision, with, with what you're doing, but also make it where they're, they're a part of the ride. But I, I completely agree. It is, it's very difficult to find, find good people when you do. It's very valuable and important because it's, it's, it's not easy, um, especially when you're sort of the, the CEO or the boss, if you will, right? Like when it's your show, your thing, you need, you want people that are genuinely happy and wanting to work to build something great and, and take their role within the, the, the operation. So that's, um, that's a lot of people. It sounds like you have a lot, a lot of people involved. In, I in do. So, 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 and, it, and this career, you know, it's not the same because you can be as on the top, but if you are not in, you want to say, I want to chill out one year, you're going to, you are not going to have the same amount of people around you. No, you know, I have six people now around me because then we're going to record them. That's the thing. But only when I'm working, because if not, it's impossible. I need my privacy. I need my, my, my own life. I need my, 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 so it became so difficult to handle it and to, to handle that, that, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm trying to, 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 to keep, keep it simple, quiet and, and a lot of hard work, uh, uh, by myself and uh, make good decisions. The best decisions are made by the heart, are made by with the heart. Mm, it does. It doesn't mean that that heart and money. That's what makes the good decision. No, 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 no. Heart could make you a good decision, but could make you not win the millions that the head could make you. You know, but I prefer the heart. Always combine it with the mind, if, uh, because one uh, one alone. It doesn't, uh, uh, no sirve, le decimos aquí en México. We say it in, in Mexico. It doesn't, it doesn't work out. Yeah, it's, 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 that's a great, it's, it's exactly, I, it's exactly, I'm, I'm agreeing exactly with you. It's, it's completely, completely true. And you know, I think part of the fun is the, the chase, right? Like the, just like, it's, it's like getting there, building something, doing something you love. And you mentioned it yes. earlier, you said that sometimes it's a lot harder to, maintain stuff than to get it but like the, the process of working and getting is a lot of the fun to to build something and, and do something that you're proud of and that you they mean something to you it, it is it is and and the, you know the gasoline in this business it's not the money it's the love of the people that get, they gave you because it's so amazing when you were talking about the comments in youtube in 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 my media in my social media stuff uh when i when i am seeing a, a 50 year old beautiful woman from another part of the world like argentina or like brazil or like to say hey man i am divorcing now i have uh, 35 35 years of marriage and i'm gonna divorce now you know and I feel with your song that uh, it makes me understand a lot of the process that I'm having and I am thankful to you. Please don't stop making music. I love you, blah, blah. That thing, Jeff, what do you feel when you see that you are touching hearts that you don't even know and that there's many, many, many thousands of miles away from you? then it's when you say, wow, this is worth it because people could think that this is a, 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 a happy career and it isn't. It's a very difficult career and I'm not just only talking about success or, or maintaining the success. The pressure to, 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 to hold the pressure with the media, with the public situation, with the privacy stuff, with everything, it's so hard and then it's not the same when I, I can tell you something. No, when I used to go out four years ago, six years ago, five years ago, out night clubbing, I was liberty. You know, I was uh, having fun on my own with girls, with friends. Now, sorry, man, I think I don't know what happened here myself. So now I go out. And I can't because everybody, and look how difficult it is. 
because there are hard, big hard guys that many, many ones or girls, many ones that know me since all my life and many others that they don't ever know me, but it's difficult to go out and only talk about you <laughs> because they are telling you, Hey, how are you? You, you, I, I'm, I'm listening the same question 25 times in the night and all the people who in the photo and can I say, and, the, and you lost a part of that thing, the liberty that you was going out or going out of your home, what I, that's what I mean, going to the, out to the streets, and nobody knows who the fuck you are. No, it's, it's a little bit more difficult, but it's a, it was part of what I was thinking it was, was going to be. It is part of uh, 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 sacrifices. It sacrifices because, well, now I, us I usually don't, don't go out a lot. Now I have been uh, caught at my nightlife a lot be because not of only that reason, because the career uh, requires a, a lot of uh, discipline, a lot of uh, uh, take care of your voice, take care of uh, all, all your body. But <laughs> yes, yes, it, it has been, uh, it has been uh, as happy as sometimes sad. Right. And, and what, it, give me a little bit of a look inside Mexico city. I actually been there only one time. My brother-in-law is from, uh, Mexico city and he, I've been there. Amazing city, the, the food, the nightlife. It was really fun. I've only been once, Look, but can you tell me I'm, a little I'm, bit about, I, I'm going to see, I'm going to, I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the entire city. Oh, wow. Look it that. is it is amazing bro this is amazing city you have nightlife everywhere every wow. single day you have a you have a also day life you have many we are 20 well 30 million now people wow. in the in, in 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 mexico city you know so it's a little bit insane <laughs> yeah, I, I think you mentioned Tele no, no uh, Tele no. What was the one you mentioned earlier? Telenovel or telenovelas? Yeah, novelas. So my brother-in-law's yeah. family started um, Televisa. I don't know if you know. Oh that. wow! Yeah, Tele absolutely. Yeah. That, that, yeah. that's 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 the creators of the of the of the telenovelas. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's where. Uh -huh. grandfather grandmother started it maybe i believe but anyway yeah so he's that's their background is is digital and, and the media and and all this and they i think they created the first soap opera as well um, wow yeah yeah it's uh yeah it's, well, uh, I met, it, yeah you you when you come over you you're gonna have a good, great time you text me bro and Believe me, you won't you won't be at all disappointed of this place, you know. We're gonna have fun. I know that. I know we'll have a good time. I mean, listen, I, I was talking to oh. Pablo. I was gonna go a few times over, and then you know the the uh, the pandemic. Yeah, I know. Wild. So hopefully I know. things I, I, open up. I know, but but soon, soon, soon. And do you ever do you ever get to Miami? Do you travel in the U.S. much? I cannot, bro. I don't have a visa. Okay. Uh, so. I am making my career here. Then I'll, I'm starting to, to, to put on, uh, tramit the, the talented visa. That's what I need. Are you, is that, would, what about like being in a Vegas residency at some, some casino or somewhere like, do you have goals of, oh, of um, would you, would that be exciting? You? Well, that's, that's big dreams. Absolutely. That's part of my, my, my dream. Absolutely. Of course, it is uh, to to play uh, in any single part that has been important for the industry, right? And uh, I I am a huge fan of Las Vegas. Not not, not I've I've been I haven't go to the United States like thirty years ago. I usually was going to Las Vegas with my with Bulos with my dad. He was going, I don't know, maybe his record time was. 19, 20 times uh, per year. 
he was oh, wow. uh, one of he was one of the most biggest uh, gamblers in in Las Vegas. That yes, I can tell you. I think some. I think dream comes with dreams, you know. And I, I cannot. I can't tell you. In some part, I live a dream with with my family, with my dad. He was a. He is a. I use. Uh, I say he was because he's now more a lot of more chill. You know, he has a lot of been more mature, uh, and uh, he's now 55, 56 year old. But when he was 30 and he was a millionaire and he was, um, you know, and then we used to go to Las Vegas and we used to stay at the same villa. At, uh, there were three villas, you know, and it was one of Puro Iglesias, one of Camel, one of Bulos. Uh, we go to the Hilton Vegas uh, 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 hotel and they give the presidential suite in anywhere in all the, in all the hotels. So, yes, it was a mute, you know, you are going to a 4,000 square meeting square meter suite. What the fuck are you talking about? This is a fucking palace. That <laughs> makes you dream. But you're right. living also a fucking dream. But that my, right. my, that my my dad has a, has a, has a, 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 instead of that, because he was a very good, uh, not good, uh, well, good also, but he was a very big gambler. He used to tell me, more they give you, more stupid an idiot you are. <laughs> that's a good that's a good way to calibrate i think you're that's uh that's, that's interesting i haven't heard it yeah. said like that but yes um the more yeah. they give you more idiot you are that's the point of my dad because that's the truth that's, and uh, we, he, he always told me no it's well the, it's one, well who, the, the one who drink alcohol is gonna tip it, it's gonna uh, uh, tips you yeah, that's 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 the one that's who's got on. the one who's gamble. They're gonna lose. Yeah, and it's, the one it's... who and and the ones who make the, the ones that uh, are in love, they're gonna make them stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's that is uh that's he basically broke down Vegas Vegas in a nutshell. I love it. My I got one more <laughs> one more question for you in terms of Please. economics because. For streaming, you know, there's this Twitch now where people stream. You know, I play poker on it. I do it. But to understand the economics for music, because when you go on Spotify or when you're on these different platforms, how does it work for monetization? Is it rev share? Yeah. Is there a new pl I know there's like Kanye West was talking about a new platform, you know, because there is this no, middle man. No, you know, no, you know, no, and I'm going to tell you now so something so interesting. Um yes you make it absolutely as the way you're saying you monetize uh, each per product for per, per reproduct uh song uh you uh, the, the the main part of the business is the shows you know the 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 tour because with a tour being on the top you can make 200 million dollar a year uh, yeah. that's the huge business you know not the, well uh, after that uh, many years ago, the huge business was the CDs. You sell 100 copies or 20 million copies of the album, and the result was you have 500 million dollar cash in your pocket. Right. You know. So the, uh, it has changed a lot. Now, I was reading an amazing article because I am a very huge fan of uh, NFT art. Okay. Yeah, that was my, I was actually, I forgot my last question about crypto and NFTs, but let me, I'm going to add one question on the way out then. Cause I want to ask you about that, but yes, please tell me. about. Okay. That. So I start, I start, I start hearing that three, uh, one, one, I, I don't know where, where, where he, where, which part of the world he was for. I think it was from, from United Kingdom. And he's, he's, he, he signed, uh, exclusivity with uh, NFT music, which that what I don't know how it works. I don't know. I don't I don't know. But now what he, what what the point is in Spotify, you pay per month to hear a, a, any song you want. Um, NFT yeah, music, it's... NFT music is gonna pay you as listener. Yeah. Wow. And it's, you know, like uh, with Ethereum, with a 0. 0.000001 Ethereum, anytime you uh, hear the song. Right, and like play, 
play instead of play to earn, listen to earn, right? Like sort of like there's a there's a there's a way to do that. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Very interesting. And also you cut piratery. You cut uh, 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 you know the 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 corrupt uh, the, uh, industry of music that they hack the music and you have a, you are you aren't having the uh, the profits, you know. Because they're selling uh, like many years ago, the, the the we called it pirate because it's not the original; it's a copy. And when it's copy, it's not it's not coming from the same source. You know, so it's 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 illegal stuff. You know, to right. to, to make copies. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, and, and it's progressed extremely. I remember Napster. You know this 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 thing they used to have on Napster, and then it was yeah, like you said, cassettes, Napster records, CDs, streaming live. It just it kind of just progressing. Ultimately, it seems like it's getting more efficient and more. Um, that it's changed a lot. And if you're an artist, how you monetize and what your strategy is, you absolutely. really need to be alert to what's what's Ab going on. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm I'm not interested in, in I, I haven't seen even how much, I have all my money. I haven't touched one single cent, in, but I don't, I don't know how much money I have. It's not a lot by sure, but I, I have, what I can tell you absolutely is that for me, I lost much more, much, 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 much more money singing <laughs> than not singing, you know, because I'm not talking even if I make millions, you know, I have a very, I have a very successful uh, uh, empire company with my family and I'm out of it, not out of it as out of it, but I'm not playing my, my mind and my capacity to, to make uh, uh, money in there. So it's right. not, I don't care. I really it's don't. Oppor it's opportunity about. cost. You're, you're giving up something to, for some other dream pursuit of, and ultimately you're making an investment in what you love and what in the future. And absolutely. You made a $1 comes, bet maybe to get I'm number one or to become the best. And you know, it's either it's way. Gonna it's going to be, it's going to be, it's gonna be for sure. I, I only need, I have calculated my year, you know, and you never know when the year is gonna booming. Uh, yeah. I, I've been booming, booming, but I, that's what I'm telling you. The the step of the, the when you finish to climb a mountain, it's the it's the very beginning for the other one. So there's never boom because maintain the success is the hard thing not to have the success to maintain it. Uh, so Absolutely. I, I can I assure wanna... I can assure you that, bro. I can assure you. I can assure you that. Then in 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 a couple of years. I wish being your beautiful country to sing a lot. And I, it would be a very, very big pleasure to have you there and to tell you, I win that dollar uh, a bet, my dear bro, Jeff. <laughs> I love it. I, it's, a, it's a bigger bet. Yeah, it's definitely bigger than a dollar. Let me just, <laughs> as we're closing out here on cryptos NFT, let me just give it, get a price prediction from you yeah. for January 1, 2023. So, you know, we're almost to May. Um, call it seven months from now. Where do you think Bitcoin will be in Ethereum? And and are you first? Give me those predictions, and I want to hear a little bit about your. Do you do you believe in crypto? Do you follow it? Are you into it? For me, crypto. I I do believe in crypto because I do believe in 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 uh, intelligent in, in 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 computer intelligence in in unrest of it. You know, it's the software. What it what it what it make uh, the worth and the value. What I think it's a very dangerous uh, risk. It's, it go ups and down uh, crazy. We don't know why sometimes. The thing is that it's gonna be, re, it's gonna, it's gonna be re, uh, re, uh, regulated, you know, by the government. For what the governments of the world, they are breaking their own fucking words, all the Congresses, all the uh, houses of, uh, to make laws of money laundering, and with this crypto uh, uh, stuff and with this crypto business, you can do all the money laundry you want. So it's gonna come at the point, for me in my opinion, that it, when it's gonna crash, when the government exactly say, okay, 
this is not legal like that way you need to tell me how much cryptos if you don't you you have if you don't declare your cryptos you're gonna be in jail as tax uh, evasor as a, a criminal organization as anything you know that's that's my vision of the cryptos and and actually it was invented for that you know there's many 30 30 com conspiracies that uh, who makes crypto who makes a uh, bitcoin if it was russia if it was china if it was and it could you know because it's a a, a financial system that they, they 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 broke swift you know for me now with the sadness notice of the war in 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 ukraine uh, i think the only the only look north korea north korea the way they, they they're still in always is with crypto now mm -hmm. russia you you cannot control yeah they are out of the swift the sanctions these blah blah blah, blah, blah. but you don't know how many millions or trillions or billions they could have in the crypto and they could uh, change and exchange it and that's the financial of war you know it's the same so i i really think it's gonna be up 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 for now how much is it now with bitcoin and ethereum let's take a look over here we got we got a little price graph okay. it's it's on its way it's back in the 40 just crossed over it's at basically three let's call forty thousand and three thousand bitcoin and ethereum give me your price prediction for january 1 I of this year I think I think it could it could it could be a little uh, a ten percent uh, up in there. Ten percent. Okay, so stabilized 10%. a little bit. Four yeah, call forty two and thirty three. It's, it's not so crazy it's erratic. Gonna, it's gonna. Yeah. It's politics, man. It's mafia. It's uh, everything. It's mafia. That it's gonna. Why why the system has not been canceled? This uh, crypto system, financial crypto system. Because they are all in it. I, I'm how, with you. How how is the how is the way to to a politician or a politician uh, make millions and millions where he could put it on accounts on personal in Switzerland account? No, they need it to put it in crypto because it's unregisterable. Right. Yeah. There's there's a lot of ways where it is so, can be can be hidden or masked. Although. Although there is a blockchain in the ledger and it's actually in some ways more um, identifiable, but it, it depends. It, it depends. It, I agree with you that the, where it came from and the purposes, I think we're, I think we're aligned. We're saying the same things. It's a very interesting thing. And, you know, ultimately, maybe, maybe, seem, maybe, maybe they forward. regulate it and it's going to fall a little, not that, but you know, the, the beautiful thing of crypto or, or Bitcoin or Ethereum, Bitcoin was the matter. Uh, 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 it's that, you can have many, many millions without no, no any single government knowing. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. the beautiful thing of it. Yeah. When they it's, say, it's okay, now you need I mean, to put Similar to the war, like let's just take the war, for example, in Ukraine. If you need to move quickly and you know you have all your money in a bank and assets and die, like it's just it's not really easy. If you if you need to pack up your life and move quickly and Boom, you can with, take your yeah. take everything you have or a, a lot of it in one spot, one stop shop. I mean, that's, that's attractive, especially if you, you know, are in a volatile area region or something that you may have to, to, to move in a, in a hurry. So, um, you know, I think that's, that's one of the use cases for sure. And the big risk, the big, and the big risk of this economic system is that if you lose your USB, you lose your millions. That's a big yep. risk. It's true you too. Me? Because yeah. they are, it's, it's no way to, to track them. Right. Yeah it's uh it's it's a wild it's a wild it's a wild time to be alive we'll say that it's been a crazy few years but carlo listen i i know i appreciate you so much man this has been this has really been enjoyable it's nice to actually get to chat Absolutely. with you get to know you i hope you make it over to the u.s and get to hang over here miami maybe we go to vegas again but if not i'll definitely when i get over to mexico city in that way gonna look you up and take you up on on going out so i wish you all the best uh, your career it's blossoming it's very cool to see this, you know, build it from just a few years ago into where you are. I, I wish you nothing but success, and I appreciate you taking the time today. I could say exactly the same to you. Thank you for your time. Thank you uh, for the friendship. Thank you for, for the oh, a, 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 any detail that I have asked you for, for helping. You have made it uh, happen, and I am so grateful with that. And count with it to, uh, that when I have a visa, I will go over there 
and uh, I soon will have it. But uh, even if I have, I have it. You need to come here, and I need to to, be, to give you a big hug. I, yeah, absolutely, and, man. It can, and, consider it done. We're coming. I'm bringing my son, my wife as well, and we'll uh, we'll definitely be, be over there and we'll, we'll have a good time. Would be amazing pleasure. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's Carlo Mucci. Check him out. YouTube, Spotify, all the different socials. This will go out on all the outlets as well as on YouTube video if you're watching where it will be right now. So thank you guys for watching. We got big episodes coming next week. The, the star is born. You see him here. He's on his way. He's already rising quickly and, and definitely check his music out, some of his videos. And uh, we'll wish Carlo the best and we'll see, see him on again. I hope very soon. Repeated guest in the future. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Blessed for all you guys. Take Cheers. care. Take care, Cheers. bro.